hi guys welcome back to my channel so this is the part two video of how I do my makeup um, there's a part one video and I'll link it in the description bar below um, so let's just get right into it so the first thing that I do when uh, first of all my face uh, is moisturized and I just use my regular moisturizer to moisturize my face Cetaphil is what I use so the first thing that you want to grab is um, your spoolie and you, um, you're gonna wanna, uh, let me zoom in a little. Okay. So you're going to take your spoolie and brush your eyebrows up like so. I hope you can see. And I try to get all my hair away from my face so that I can get the, um, the top of my head then you'll take your eyebrow pencil of choice and today I will be using my wet n wild in dark brown so um, now that I'm all zoomed in I'm gonna take my eyebrow pencil of choice and today's eyebrow pencil is the wet n wild in dark brown so I'm gonna go right underneath my eyebrow and just draw soft strokes all the way to the end like I said in my first video you want to make sure that your eyebrows are groomed before you um, attempt to draw your eyebrows in so you draw it all the way to the end like I have done right here and then you start at the top and then you just soft strokes all the way to the end and you connect the two okay and then what I usually do is I just fill out the insides softly where I feel like I need to add more pencil. And that's it. And then I do the same for the second one. All right, now that you're done filling your eyebrows, you want to go back and take your spoolie and blend everything out. This is very, very important. You don't want your eyebrows looking too thick, too fake. You want to blend everything out. Everything. next step will be to grab your angled brush and a concealer of choice and today I will be using my MAC NW45 and I'm just gonna take a little bit of product on my brush on both sides just a little okay and I'm going to clean up the mess that I made from brushing it up so Try not to get too much product on your um, angled brush so you don't have that much concealer down there so it can look as natural as possible. And your eyebrows are never going to look identical. They're not twins, they're cousins. So you want to do the same thing at the top and just go slow. And then you want to blend out the concealer as much as you can. And this is the finished look. And I will go and do my second eye. I'm done with my eyebrows if you feel like you need to blend it out just a little bit more go right ahead and this is how I do my eyebrows guys 
So the next step will be to apply my foundation and today I will be using my NARS um, Weightless Luminous Foundation in New Orleans. And I just usually um, use the back of my angled brush to get it all over my face. And with this foundation, you only need one pump. Now you want to blend out your foundation. So I usually use my um, flat top brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics and an e.l.f. Um, missing set, set spray. So I just, you can just use water um, and I'm just going to blend out my foundation. You want to make sure you blend it into your neck so you're not two colors, <laughs> okay? Blend it all the way into your ears also. So then when you're taking pictures, you're, you, you know, you don't have different shades and patches all over your face. You want to blend it into your neck and into your ears and into your hairlines. And be careful when you're around your eyebrows so you don't wipe it off. And guys, this is how I apply my foundation. You can see the difference. So you ne really need to invest in a very good foundation. And I love this foundation. And all you need is one pump. Just one. And then the next step will be to um, get your concealer of choice. Today I'll be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 30 Cafe. And I'm just going to try to get rid of the dark circles under my eyes. And I just go add a little bit of product right there under my eyes. And then I take a damp beauty blender to help with the blending. You can use your fingers, you don't have to use a beauty blender, but I just um, this really helps with the application and you just want to make sure that you blend it out and this is what it'll look like and then you do the same for the other eye again this is just a basic how to, how to do your makeup there's no highlighting and contouring in here so just you know basic 101 And now I look like I'm awake. I don't look like a vampire. So the next step will be to set all of this. And today I will be using my um, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep with a fluffy brush, a powder brush. And I, I usually start under my eyes first, so I just patch it on so I don't move around the concealer. And then I do the same for the other eye. And then I just go all over my face be careful around your eyebrows you don't want to wipe them off next thing you want to do is add um, your blush and today my blush of choice is my MAC um, Sweetest Cocoa Blush. I'm just going to take a little and put it on the apples of my cheeks. It's a really subtle blush and I like it. The next thing you're going to want to do is apply your mascara and today I will be using my MAC Mascara just a little 
that you are a song that I'll ever need. And then the next thing you want to do is, if you're an eye pencil girl or a liquid liner, today I will be using my liquid liner by NYC just for a baby wing. So you want to wink out your second eye. I'll probably do a detailed video on how I do my wing liner. Made a boo-boo, but whatever. And that is it. And I'm just going to be, the next step is my lipstick and I will be using my Pretty Zombie Cosmetics in Dahlia. You guys, this is the finished look. And, um... I'm going to fix my hair and I'll be right back. So this is the finished look guys. Um, pretty basic, right? And not that difficult. I hope this video has been very, very helpful to you guys and all my friends that have been asking me to film this. I hope that this has been a step in the right direction as far as learning how to do your makeup. And I can't wait to see you guys and see how um, your looks no. I can't wait to see you guys' pictures my friends who have been asking me to film this video so thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video